Welcome to another episode of Living Beyond Boundaries with Lady Lisette Podcast, fresh oil to jumpstart your week. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Hebrews 12 and 3. Fatigue is an indication that we are mentally and physically depleted. There are times we are guilty of overthinking. Have you ever been there? I must be honest that I have. Anxiety fills our mind and we quickly forget that we are to be anxious for nothing but prayer through supplication with thanksgiving make our requests known unto God. He then fills us with peace in our heart and mind. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Don't stress out. We're not to stress out about anything, but rather pray. The peace of God will guard your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. Have you ever observed a situation and expected the worst outcome before knowing the facts or feared what has occurred will happen again? Anxiety accompanied by fears, lacking faith, will always lead us to feeling overwhelmed and out of control. Those moments calls for us to refocus our attention on what is absolute and unvarying. Jesus is the ultimate example we are to fix our eyes upon. He faced unimaginable public scrutiny and pain, yet he endured. You can do the same too. Oh yeah, you can endure too. The Holy Spirit endorses you, renews your mental and spiritual mind when you feel faint in heart. Stay close to the Lord and he promises to renew your strength. Isaiah forty thirty one. There are promises, a future of hope, a wealth of blessings set before you that are unimaginable. Allow your faith to refuel you to stay the course. Stay the course. There is nothing that occurs in your life that will defeat you lest you become faint in your mind and your heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 and seven. Know in your heart this day that you can conquer anything that is placed before you. What are you fixing your eyes on? Are you fixing your eyes on your circumstances? Or are you fixing your eyes to the hills from whence cometh your help? I would encourage you today to fix your eyes on your peace. Yeah, fix your eyes on your peace. Get in your peaceful place. And once you find your peaceful place, you stay there. Don't don't allow life circumstances or anything to interfere with your peaceful place. And remember, this week, Fix your eyes on your peaceful place. There is nothing that you can't overcome or endure. What are you focusing on? I hope it's your peaceful place. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for this day. And we pray this week that you would give us a peace that surpasses all understanding, that you would guard our heart and our mind from distractions that would interrupt 
our peaceful place. In Jesus' name, amen.